I'm Hernando County Sheriff Al Ninhais with a new video series. These videos will be less than five minutes each and will give you a glimpse into some of the issues we deal with at a modern law enforcement agency. Now please follow our Facebook page or subscribe to our YouTube channel to be notified of upcoming videos. Also, since every situation is different and has an infinite number of variables, these videos are for general information only and may or may not apply to a specific situation or specific crime. Today, I'm going to talk a little bit about double jeopardy and why investigators and prosecutors often move very methodically, especially on the more serious cases. Double jeopardy is a fundamental protection and it's spelled out in the Fifth Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. It's designed to prevent the government from unfairly subjecting individuals to repeated prosecutions for the exact same crime. This means that an individual who's found not guilty at trial cannot be tried twice for that exact same crime. Now this may seem frustrating for those on the side of the victim. Those who are on the side of the accused, however, can certainly understand the importance of this amendment. When emotions run high and citizens are convinced of someone's guilt, it is easy to call for quick justice. Investigators and prosecutors are experts, however, at anticipating the weaknesses in a case, especially obvious and reasonable defenses that will be exploited by the defense. The most important point to keep in mind is that both investigators and prosecutors want nothing more than to bring serious criminals to justice. And here in Hernando County, our record of doing so is much, much higher than average. What we do not want, however, is to see a guilty person get immunity on a serious crime. And this happens when prosecutors know the defense could easily put reasonable doubt in the minds of a jury. They certainly don't want to waste their one chance at justice if there is a good possibility that a witness might come forward in the future or new evidence might be found. When a case moves out of the public spotlight, it is not unusual for sus suspects to slip up, for scared witnesses to finally come forward, or technology to provide new evidence. When this happens, law enforcement and prosecutors always stand ready to move forward if the statute of limitations has not elapsed. Now this delay can be very frustrating for everyone involved, but this is why it can take months or sometimes even years for a difficult case to be prosecuted. Now I hope you found this uh, video informative. Remember to follow our Facebook page or subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And if you'd like to learn more about the great things going on every day here at the Sheriff's Office, I would invite you to attend one of our free Citizens Academies. A link with more information is listed in the narrative of this video. And as always, we appreciate the overwhelming support we receive from the community. We never take it for granted. Thank you.